it is a pendulum which is um, 5.1 meters long, and there is a mass at the end of it which is 15 kilograms. The length is 5.18 meters, and the uncertainty is about 5 centimeters. We can't measure it any better. And the mass at the end of it, which doesn't enter into the period, is about 15 kilograms. The period, which is 2 pi times the square root of L over G, if you substitute in your length of 5.1 meters, you will find 4.57 seconds. 4.57 seconds. Seven. Since you have a 1% error in L, you're going to have a half a percent error in your period, so that is about 0.02 seconds. So this is my prediction. And now I'm going to oscillate it for you, and I'm going to do it from two different angles. I'm going to do it at a five degree angle, and I'm going to do it at a ten degree angle. In order to get my relative error down, I will oscillate ten times. So I'm going to get at an angle theta maximum of roughly five degrees, I get ten t equals something plus or minus my reaction time, which is 0.1 of a second. And then I will do it from ten degrees, and I will do again ten t, and again, my reaction time is not much better than 0.1 seconds. So let's do that first. I will move this out of the way, because if that 15 kilogram object hits this, that is not funny. All right, zero. I have a mark here on the floor. This is about five degrees, and this is about 10 degrees. I will first do it from five degrees. I will let it swing one oscillation, and when it comes to a halt here, I will start the timer. That's for me the easiest. But I count on you when it comes to counting. You ready? You ready? You sure? I'm ready too. Okay. Now keep counting, and don't confuse me again now. You're completely responsible for the counting. So you, all you have to tell me is when, when eight or nine is coming up. That's all I want to know. Don't even bother me with three. Don't even bother me with four. Just let me know when I have to get in position for the final kill. <laughs> Notice there's almost no damping on this pendulum. The amplitude remains almost the same. Whereas with the, with the air track, you could actually see that there was already some kind of friction. It was, where are we now? Nine? Nine, right? Forty-five point seven zero. Forty-five point seven zero. Where's my chalk? Forty-five point seven zero. What was my prediction? Yeah, 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 exactly. You get the picture. That is pure luck, because my accuracy is no better than a tenth of a second. Now we do from 10, 10 degrees. And I want to show you now that the effect on the angle, when you go from 5 to 10, is small. So small that you cannot measure it within the accuracy of your measurement. Yeah. Okay, again, relax and count. Ah, nerve-wracking! Where are we now? Seven.
Did you expect anything else? 45.75. One of the most remarkable things I just mentioned to you is that the period of the oscillations is independent of the mass of the object. That would mean if I join the bob and I swing down with the bob, that you should get that same period. Or should you not? I'm asking you a question before we do this awful experiment. <laughs> Would the period come out to be the same or not? Some of you think it's the same. Have you thought about it, that I'm a little bit taller than this object, and that therefore, maybe effectively, the, the length of the string has become a little less? If I sit up like this, and if the length of the string is a little less, the period would be a little shorter. Yeah? Be prepared for that. On the other hand, I'm also pre well, I'm not quite prepared for it. <laughs> I will try to hold my body as horizontal as I possibly can in order to be at the same level as the bob. I will start when I come to a halt here. There we go. <laughs> no! You count. This hurts. Ah. I want to hear you loud. Oh. Ah. Ah, thank you. with Walter Lewin, 45.6, plus or minus 0.1 seconds. Physics works, I'm telling you. <laughs>